Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's video, I'll be sharing my top 20 nail art items that I use for creating nail art designs. So let's just jump right into it. Number 1. Base Coats Before starting any nail art design, it's always important to protect your natural nails with a good base coat. Base coats provide a barrier between pigmented nail color and your nail plate, which prevents staining. They also help your polish adhere to your nails, providing a long-lasting manicure. Secondly, you'll need a wide variety of nail colors. While it's possible to do nail art designs with just a couple of nail colors, having an array of options allows you to create so many different designs and color combinations. If you love to collect nail polish like I do, definitely check out the Snups app. Guys, I'm obsessed with this app, and I'm currently in the process of adding my entire nail polish collection to it. They were so kind to sponsor this video today, so a big shout out to them for supporting Cute Polish. If you haven't checked out Snups before, it's an incredibly easy organizer and socializer app that acts as a virtual log of all your favorite items. You can keep track of all the nail polish you own, for example, which is what I use it for, and it prevents you from buying any dupes. To use this app, simply snap a photo of your item, upload it, add details, and store it on a virtual shelf. I've been tracking hundreds of my nail polish bottles on there, so be sure to go check my profile out and have a detailed look into my collection. I'll have a link to both my Snaps profile and where you can download the app for free in the description box below. My third must-have item for doing nail art is dotting tools. This was one of my very first items that I got when I began doing DIY nail art. Dotting tools are so convenient when it comes to creating perfect little dots on your nails, and you can get them in different sizes, allowing you to easily create a variety of dots. The fourth item is toothpicks. Toothpicks are just so versatile in the nail art world. You can use them for creating dots, drawing lines, cleaning up bits of polish that got on your skin, positioning nail decor, and more. Plus, they're super affordable and probably already found in your house. Next up is nail art brushes. The top three that I use the most would have to be the fan brush, tiny detailing brush, and a square brush. Fan brushes can be used to create many designs, such as the striped one shown here. However, my main use for it would be cleaning up excess glitter or powder when doing my nails. The tiny detail brush can be used for drawing just about anything on your nails. You can even use it to create dots. And finally, the square one is fantastic for dipping into acetone and cleaning up around your nails. What fun would nail art be without a little sparkle? Glitter for nails can be found in two different forms. The first one being loose glitter. Just pour it over your wet nail and either let it dry or cure it. Another way that you can easily apply glitter is by using a glitter nail polish. If you sponge these onto your nail, you'll get a full coverage glitter packed mani. Specialty powders have become so huge this year, so I had to include these in my list. Hollow powder for some rainbow goodness, chrome powder for a gorgeous true mirror shine, and mermaid powder for an iridescent finish are my top three favorites. Number eight is rhinestones. These have been a staple in my nail art kit for almost a decade now. They're a simple and fun way to add some sparkle to your nails. I also love using nail studs. They come in so many different shapes and sizes, and they allow you to create awesome designs with little effort. Who doesn't love that? My favorite way to pick up rhinestones and studs is with wax pencils. It makes it so effortless and easy. Here I'm picking up and placing little confetti pieces, however it works the same with the rhinestones and the studs. Next up is nail glue, because it allows you to adhere all of those fun little nail decorations for a much longer time than just using clear nail polish. Add a drop and then place your decor. Speaking of which, 3D decor is always a ton of fun. My favorite item in this category would have to be bows. I've always loved adding these to my manicure for a pretty and fun look. Number 13 is nail vinyls. If you don't want to freehand a design, you can quickly use a nail vinyl to create a fun design in seconds. Just place it on, polish over it, and then remove. So easy. Another quick and easy way to get an intricate design without freehanding is by stamping. You'll need a stamper, which clear ones guys are the most convenient because you can easily see where you're going to place your image. And you'll also need stamping plates. Just add the polish, Scrape it with a plastic card, 
pick up the image on your stamper, and then stamp it over your nail. This is so quick and easy. Nail foils are another fun way to get a gorgeous looking manicure in no time. The sheets are super affordable and can be used to create a ton of different manicures. Also, they come in a bunch of colors and patterns, which is really cool. 16. Skin Barriers If you're stamping using vinyl, sponging ombres, water marbling, or doing any other messy nail activity, skin barriers can save you a lot of time during the cleanup process. They come in both liquid latex form and also latex-free peel-off tape, which is my personal favorite because, well, for one thing I'm allergic to latex, but secondly, there's no drying time with them. Next up is striping tape. This thin, sticky roll of metallic tape can be used in your designs like so, or they can also be applied over your nail and then quickly removed to create perfect stripes. Makeup sponges are a must because they create beautiful ombres effortlessly and they can also be used to pack on an opaque layer of glitter. So after all of that work, you're going to want to have your mani last as long as possible. So that's where fast drying top coats come in. They seal in your design so you get the most out of each manicure. They also come in matte versions too. And finally, nail wheels. This is especially important if you're new to DIY nail art. They're perfect for practicing on so you can improve your dexterity and perfect your designs before actually painting them on yourself or on your friend's nails. Once again, I'd like to thank Snups for supporting our channel. If you guys haven't checked out their free organizer app yet, definitely do so. I'll have the link for you guys to download it in the description box below. Also, when you get it, leave your username in the comments so I can follow you and see all of your shelves. You can use this app for more than just nail polish too, by the way. So you could create shells for your clothes, purses, shoes, video games, just about any items that you collect. The options are endless. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And check out more videos here on Cute Polish by clicking these boxes. You can also subscribe by clicking here. And check out my new gaming channel by clicking this little circle. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye!